Oh lord, I thought I'd never get back to doing this. Welcome everyone to another Let's Rage. Uh, I don't know if I can really call this one a Let's Rage because this is it, kind of dead on arrival. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, how wonderful. Why am I doing... I don't even know why the fuck I'm doing this. My name is... Vi... V, that's my name. Vij. Okay, whatever. Vij heart sign, yes. It was a kind of complication on the birth certificate. This music is killing me. Because it keeps pulsing through each ear, and it's kind of annoying. Well... Whatever, I don't know. Let's start in Wyoming. So, Barbie... Uh, only, I remember my sister, uh, growing up... I don't have a history with this because... I didn't give two shits about Barbie growing up because, you know, it doesn't appeal to me. My sister had a huge collection of them, and it wasn't necessarily because... Are you fucking serious? Uh, fucking, I don't know, whatever. I don't, okay, exit, whatever. You know, the word sexist gets thrown around a lot. But, I can say that much of Barbie, what it initially set up... If you look like this, yes, I know what a tent looks like. Oh, um, oh my god, you really... Select for, how stupid do you think I am? See, above anything else, if you ever wanted the reason why I say Barbie was kind of sexist, these video games do not help. Because they're the bare minimum of what you could really call games. These were marketed towards little girls who, again, boys at the same age would have been playing something a little bit more complex and intricate, and this is what the girls were stuck with. And again, th to be fair, those games that they were necessarily playing, what the fuck? Uh, no, you're not all wet. Your shoes are wet, you de- Can- Can I lose this? Oh my god. Is this really the best we're gonna do here? Oh my god, I hate this shit. I hate shit like this. And I'm, I'm glad we kind of branched out of that. Uh, you know. Oh yeah, we gotta watch everyone's. I remember seeing a review of this years ago. Stupid shit. Stupid. Oh my god. You gotta get to the very tip edge and jump. Yeah, I remember seeing a review of this and it wasn't too fun. They weren't too fond of this. But yeah, shit like this was marketed towards girls and the games that were marketed, they weren't necessarily marketed towards boys specifically. But this was, this was, what the fuck happened? This was made specifically for girls. This is the most patronizing bullshit I've ever had the displeasure of looking at. And again, this whole more demure and innocent look to everything, I don't necessarily mind that. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could package that kind of have that similar look and kind of uh, atmosphere to it and whatnot. Like, this is supposed to be completely innocent. But it has to be something a little bit more engaging than this. And, I, and, you know, you could make the argument, like, there was a Barney video game that was for Sega Genesis. And that was made for, you know, you know what demographic that's for. It's like for really, really small children. Girls around, again, girls around the same age as the boys were playing, like, Super Contra and whatnot. Were playing shit, had to play shit like this. Well, they didn't have to, but this was, was made, this is for you, girls. I don't know, maybe the, oh, fuck, okay. Take a picture of the animals. Fuck me, this is stupid. And above anything else, I hate the fact that I'm basically playing it. This game is essentially first world problems the game. I think I think they're tr they've been decently trying to uh, branch the Barbie series out of that to some degree. Like I'm not talking about the stupid uh, 
you know, new dolls that they're making with stretch marks because, let me tell you, if, any, if there's one thing I love about escapism is being reminded about my imperfections. Yeah, these people don't know kids at all. But, um... Why am I taking pictures of the same fucking animal? I don't know, I'm just... I'm still dumbfounded as to why I decided to pick this out of all things to play. Oh god, stupid f Hold the fuck still. S fuck you, nature. Yeah, two rabbits at once, because I couldn't get that shot anywhere else. What the fuck you sticking your head out for? I am not in the mood to be positive in this endeavor. And hold still, you little shit! Fuck you! When is this gonna end? Are we near the end? Cause there's no no more no more animals coming out and oh, fucking hell. Oh. Even as a, a kid, I can't imagine this holding any child's like any little girl's attention. Even like the regular Barbie dolls, you could go and like make your own adventures and play and whatnot. And you can use your imagination. Yeah, I took some great photos. The same fucking animals over and over again. I've been camping in National Park. It's some beautiful phones of wild animals. Yes, yeah, this is so compelling, isn't it? Like, this is the most derivative, boring, cliche garbage I've had. Like, I can't imagine. I think that was Wyoming we went to. Let's go to, let's go to my home, well, technically home state. I was born in New York, now I'm in Florida. Fuck! I don't care. Just fuck off. What the hell's this? I think I'll go swimming. Is this? That I told a pirate shit that sunk here years ago. I'll collect the treasure. Okay. That sounds mildly interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sounds not going to get annoying. I, I can't, I can't, I can't swim any faster than this. You know, as John Tron pointed out in this video, this is, this section, this is a whole, a blatant ripoff of, uh, Diddy Kong, you know, Donkey Kong 2, Donkey Kong Country 2 with the, uh, yeah. Oh, no. No, you can't be fucking serious. You expect me to get all nine now 95. Oh my god, you you are fucking serious. You expect me to do this. Who the fuck do you think you are, Mattel? I don't know. I I I didn't see the logo who developed this. I, oh, is that me swimming faster? Nope. It's just that I'm closer to the screen, so it looks like I'm moving faster. There's nothing here. There, there, there's literally, literally, like, no threat present whatsoever. Like, they give me so many oxygen tanks, it's not like there's going to be a frantic race to get back to the surface before my air runs out. This is the worst kind of collectathon. These are just here. It's This is the very definition of busy work. It's worse than last Because it, at the very least, last time... It, it kind of made no qualms as to whether or not I was going to, you know, it's, it, it was a derivative activity, you know, on paper too. Go take pictures of the same fucking animals over and over again. Here you have some, what the, f oh my god, this music. Here you had some layer of potential. Go on down and see and explore and find all this treasure and, you know, pirate ship. Awesome. And then this is what I get. Oh my god, what is this? I don't know if it's just something with the, the game, it's the ROM or whatever, but this is the most, this is like torture to my ears. Okay, is that an enemy? Please let that be an enemy. It'd be so awesome if that was an enemy. Seriously, do they think that girls didn't like the idea of a challenge? 
it, you know, typically speaking, like, genetically speaking, males tend to be more competitive than females by nature, you know, testosterone and whatnot. But, and that's kind of what compels them to, uh, you know, drives more males to extreme difficult games. And you, you see, like, statistics, what the fuck? Oh, something, oh. We're actually doing something. And I, I think I messed it up. Um, like, like, you actually look at statistically, uh, girls tend to lean more towards casual, or females in general tend to lean more towards casual games than most other demographics. And, uh, males tend to lean for, like, heavy story-driven stuff. And, yes, please do. If you tell me I have to go back there, I will be very upset. Okay, let's go, let's go to the beach. Because you have no problems whatsoever. Whatever. I don't even give a fuck what you have to say. But even... Even... Oh my god. No, wait. Are you serious? This is the best you can do? Oh, you fucking... Yeah. Uh... Like, as much as people complain about stuff like Candy Crush and Cookie Clicker and all that, and Cookie, well, Cookie Clicker goes too far with microtransaction bullshit, but this, it's like, this doesn't even make the modest effort to be somewhat challenging. There is something, there is a, a, a minuscule amount of effort that needs to be put into beating a game like Candy Crush or whatever. Like, there, it does take some, like, small level of effort and creativity to, the you know, actually make a game like that. Here, it's... This is just... What am I even fucking looking at? And bear in mind, like... It, it, this isn't, it isn't like kids weren't used to playing complex games to some degree. There are school... I remember in schools, like being in school, and some of the games that they let us play on the computer and computer class were much more difficult than this, like typing games and... I think uh, I have one that actually had Ultima on it, and Ultima is one of the most fucking difficult games ever made. Like seriously, like if you think of getting games like this for your for your daughter or whatever, you need like even a game like Jumpstart, like which is one of my favorite series of games growing up. Uh, do I have to get all of them? I think I do. Like the Jumpstart games were one of my favorite series of. Um, like educational games as a kid. Oh Jesus! And yeah, the, the treasure just mysteriously gets put back. Fan, fan fucking fantastic. Oh, damn it! But I don't really. Uh, yeah, Jumpstart and the uh, Schoolhouse Rock games. Like they, 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 those were my childhood basically in terms of uh, nostalgic games on computers and whatnot. And I'm sure that there were better games than this, but still, these this is a common thread with stuff like this. Like Barbie, you know, if it if it has an appeal for kids, I don't really mind it. It's like, like it or not, there's there is a demographic that really enjoys that. And contrary to what some people believe, like the girls who kind of grow up with Bar grew up with Barbie, they can go on to be more than themselves. They're not going to be fucking motivated by a goddamn toy. But Shit like this does not really help. I don't know, like... You hear all these stories about certain, um... Certain famous people or... Or scientists or whatnot, like, uh... What, what's the one... I think there was one scientist in particular. I can't remember his name. I think he was of, um... Hispanic descent. He was trying to... I think he's a rocket scientist. And, uh, he wants to... He was inspired by Spock. Like, Star Trek was his favorite show. He was on the news, I, I just can't remember his name. I wish I could. There's gotta be something else I can do here. There's gotta be something! Let's give me something! Give me a challenge! Respect my intelligence! But yeah, it's like, some people can be like... It's like, it's like uh, one of my favorite lines, and I'm not the biggest fan of Nostalgia Critic anymore, but... One of my favorite lines from the Bully Flea... Good art... Can, good... Good art... Bad art is a distraction, good art changes people. And this is... Oh my fucking god, that music. This is the very definition of a distraction. And not in a positive way. 
This is a distraction in the same way that walking home and seeing a horrific car accident is a distraction. Yeah, it got your mind off of whatever shitty thing that was happened to be on your mind, but it replaced it with something even more shitty. Oh my god. Will I ever even run out of air oxygen tanks, really? I'm about to take my headphones off because this music is starting to, like, grate on my ears royally. And I can't go any faster than this pace. And you would think, since this game is blatantly ripping off Donkey Kong Country and its underwater levels and its under soundtrack and whatnot, you would think that they would also rip off some how that game controls and have it you able to move a bit faster because you won't want to move at a certain pace. Because, you know, you want to finish the shit as fast as possible because you want to get onto whatever the game has next for you, but no, we didn't get that. Oh, fucking... I don't know, Barbie is kind of phased out nowadays, and it's all about Polly Pockets and whatnot. I... I think a while back I saw a commercial, they were trying to bring back Bratz, and there was a big pushback against that. Because... Yeah... There's a, there's a certain appeal for Barbie, but I would, I I absolutely abhor brats. I just I just absolutely hate that for gr for for girls or for anyone really. <clears throat> it's weird when you talk about that, and a lot of it is really more to do with um. Oh my fucking god! I'm sorry. It's just every time I try to speak, that music that ring. Okay, I took one of my headphones out. It's weird when we, I talk about things like that, like mostly being uh, for girl. I, I, I think that these oxygen tanks are respawning, so. God. So, like I was saying, it's weird that we talk about like things like it's mostly what's bad for girls and whatnot. That we uh, there are some talk about what's uh, has a negative influence on boys, but. There's a this kind of discrepancy in that, where, like, you see a woman, uh, uh, action figure that has large breasts and whatnot, and, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, it's like that meme, I think they call it, it was like, uh, this woman is a negative representation, and, like, go into detail, there's a picture of a He-Man toy, and it just says, this is He-Man. But I would say that the negative, um, perceptions of toys between two, the two sexes. It's a little bit worse for females, but I don't know, males, uh, I don't know. I didn't grow up having, like, uh, I had a lot of toys growing up, like action figures, which basically are just smaller dolls, let's be honest. Um, where's that last fucking thing? I'm gonna finish before that horrible music kicks back in. Where is that last, f oh god. I try to talk about something serious and the uh, music fucking cuts me off again. WHERE IS IT?! THIS IS SOME BULLSHIT! What do I do with this fucking rock? There's gotta be something I can do with it. I pushed it over, and there's gotta be something here that it's hiding from me. Oh my god. And pausing the game doesn't pause the fucking music. Wonderful. Fuck you too. Fuck you and the f six horses that carried your fat ass here. I'm about to. Th I'm about to get a fucking ulcer from this. You know what? If I don't find it on my last sweep, I'm just quitting again. No, seriously, you expected this to entertain girl, little girls? I am pressing every button right now, hoping that something happens. Like some hidden feature that I didn't know and didn't notice. And more of those oxygen tanks that mean nothing because they it barely runs out. This is the most, again, the most patronizing bullshit thing I've seen in a long time. And I'm glad, again, I'm glad games have broken out of this and, you know, it's only really recently that the whole our video games art thing came up. 
And that's because video games, you know, they're, they're realizing you can do more than just try to sell shit to stupid kids. Now, now, now I think about it, the more games go, like, are uh, really... The more... Oh, there it is. Thank you fucking hell. Might as well return it to be... You stuck up sack of shit. How do we go home? Oh my god. First one to ten points wins. Yes, I've won before. Can I go home? Or go to another level. This is some bullshit. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can... Like, this is all you can really do, too. You can't, like, spike it. I remember when I was a kid, I loved playing, uh, like, regular beach ball, like, beach volleyball, like, with an inflatable ball, because I used to spike the hell out of it. I'm 22 years old, sitting in my room alone, playing a Barbie video game. You know, there's some moments that when you really just reflect on certain things, it just, it kind of hits you where your life is taking you. Oh my god. Back up, you daft twat. And after a while, it's like, I love how the CPU just immediately gives up after a while so it can let you win. Because it knew, they knew that you wouldn't want to be playing this forever. And the amazing thing about that is, the thing I love about that is, even when this is the closest thing to really competitive gameplay that you've experienced so far, yes, I beat whatever, let me go home now. Oh, Jesus. How do I leave? How do I, how do I go home? What more do you want from me, game? I've done everything there is to do. What more do you want? They go go swimming. No, no, you, no the fuck you won't. No. No, we're not doing this again. Oh my god, there, I can't figure out how to leave. I think I'm literally stuck here. I want to get go play the other levels. Do I literally have to reset the goddamn game in order to go anywhere? Oh my god. I'm getting... I think I'm gonna get a tumor from this ship. I think I have to reset the game to play anything else. If I can't find a way to, like, reset this in the... Yeah, I'm pressing every button. It's not doing shit. You know, this shit ain't worth my time anymore. One more time. Just one more time, because I can't fucking find out what to do. I'm done with this shit. And no, nope, I can't do anything. This is the... Oh my fucking... This stupid ass piece of shit. Fuck this game. And, oh god, I try to pause to get a reprieve from the music, and it keeps fucking going. Ugh.